and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this invisible table in amongst your text in a Word document. But I'm also going to show you how to customise it, how to move the grid lines and how to centre your information. So let's just get rid of this table. Okay, so here you can see our basic document. So what we need to do is to place our cursor where we would like our table. I'm going to move my cursor to here press the return key, press the return key one more time and then go up to insert table, insert table. So now we can select the number of rows and columns that we want. So I'm going to select five columns and five rows and then click OK. So here we have our basic table. And as you can see, we've got all our grid lines in and it's not customised to any particular height or anything. So now we can begin to put in our text. So instead of watching me type, I'm just going to paste in some text. And this is in no way customised. So I will now show you how you can customise all this text and take away these grid lines. So let's select all of the text. Let's go up to the Home tab and let's go to font and then in here you can select any font you like. So I'm going to select this one here and then for the titles I'm going to just select across the top and go up to the increase font size tool here and just click until I'm happy with the size of those titles. Now before I look at the alignment of all of this text I'm now going to get rid of the grid lines. So if you go up to the top left square here and click, you'll see that it will select your entire table. Now go up to table design and now go over to this borders icon here. Click on the drop down and you can go down to something called no border and click. Now, as you can see, all the border lines have now disappeared, but your table still exists and will still behave in the same way a table would behave. So if I was to press the return key, you can see the whole table moves down and up as it would do if you could see the grid lines. Now to make some adjustments to this, you might want to move some of those grid lines, but at the moment you can't see them. So what we can do is again, select the table, go back up to table design, go over to borders, click on the drop down go all the way down and select view grid lines. And now you can see this dotted line that goes all the way around your table and through the cells. Now, if you were to print this, these grid lines wouldn't exist. These are just a guide for you to be able to make some adjustments and to see where your cells are. So the first adjustment that I'm going to do is I'm going to move this line here so all you have to do is hover over the line until your cursor changes, click, and then you can drag this line over. Then for this one, I'm going to select all of these here. Then I'm going to go to home and I'm going to center them all. Then I'm going to do the same with this one, put them in the middle of my column. And then you can see there's going to be a large gap between these two here. So I'm going to move this one over, just pull this line over. And then I'm going to do the same with this line. Then I'm going to go to table design again, go to borders and switch off the grid lines. Now you can move the grid lines whilst you can't see them because if I hover, you can see my cursor will change when I get, there we go, when I get to one of the grid lines, you can see it changes. So I can still grab that and move it over if I wanted to. So there's a huge space here. So what I might do now is just to demonstrate is to move this back over this way and then maybe move the ages over this way a little bit more and then possibly move the names back over. Perfect. Now, just as an added bonus trick, what you can do 
is adding just one or two of the border lines to add a little bit of interest. So for example, I could select the top row here, go up to table design, go to borders, click on the drop down and just select the bottom border because I've selected this row and I just want the bottom border running across here. So click, deselect, and now you can see that bottom border has appeared. Now the problem with this is that all of the text is at the top of my cells. So you can see this text here is really close to this line. Now if I was to select my whole table, I can go to table layout and I can go over here to my alignment tool. Now obviously we've made different alignments for it all. So what we can first of all do is to click align to center and then we can go back over to just this column here and line everything to center left, then deselect. And then because everything's very close to the top, we can select the table, right click, go down to table properties, go to cell, go to options, and in cell margins, you can go to the top here, uncheck this box, and then we can increase the top margin, let's say to point 15, click OK, click OK, and as you can see, it's moved that text down, so there's a little more space at the top here. If you want to take that line back out, just select it again, go to table design, go to borders and uncheck bottom border and deselect. And finally, if you wanted to add a little bit of color to any of these titles or to the rest of this table, all you need to do is to select the column or row you want to add the color to, just highlight it, go to table design, and over here you have something called shading. Click on the drop down. You have the option of all of these colors. You've got standard colors here. And if you go to more colors, you've got your color wheel here where you can move this little circle anywhere around this color wheel to select a color of your choice. And this square here will tell you what color you have selected. So when you're very happy with your color, just click OK, deselect, and there you can see your color at the top of your table. If you want to do the same to a row and you just select it, what you'll notice is when you go back up to table design, you go over to shading. If you click on the drop down, in your recent colors, it will have the color you've just selected. Perfect. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.